Hi. So, in the previous module, uh, we have completed the uh, several part of the uh, feedback and operational amplifier and all those things. Now, in this today's module, it's a very important that uh, as a electronics engineer or electrical engineer or computer science or IT background, they should know about that how to operate, how to operate the uh, CRO that is the cathode oscilloscope and what is the, actually the cathode oscilloscope. Uh, by this lecture we will try to represent it so very easily that uh, cathode oscilloscope is not a very complicated thing, it's a very simple thing in the manner. So, uh, so first of all I want to uh, go for that cathode ray oscilloscope, cathode ray oscilloscope, why it is called cathode ray. Uh, do you have any concept of the cathode ray concept? Uh, it's have some concept, so I will come one by one these things. So uh, this is uh, actually the CRO to show there is a uh, there is some uh, very important fundamental things that uh, um, component that we have to familiar with the CRO first. That is intensity of the volt of the of this that how it is fluorescent that things is how the how the color is fluorescent that things is representing uh, focusing fade or focus that things is representing by this two switch. Uh, there is a time division switch which is very very important time division switch and there is a uh, actually basically there is two channel first of all this is the signal is inputted through this channel also and the this channel also this is the ch1 and this is the ch2 that is ch1 channel and ch2 that channel this is the connector that is bionet connector bnc connector okay bionet nat collector and uh, uh, there is a uh, for there as there is two channel for this this particular input signal this voltage uh, divider this voltage uh, uh, channel this 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 particular knob is working and for this this particular knob is this particular knob is working okay so these two channels are there that is the channel 2 and channel 1 okay so and uh, there is a beam changing that is upper side and lower side for the channel 1 and this is the beam changing that is upper side lower side and uh, there is you show there is a hold off which is very important and uh, there is a calibration uh, knob and uh, there is a mode of the channel 1 channel 2 if I press it then channel 1 channel 2 both are working from not press it's so only channel 1 is working in that okay so these are very important fundamental knob are there so for the purpose of this particular uh, uh, for, for this CRO and this is the power switch naturally okay so uh, these are very important knob which is very uh, important for this and that's why I'm just representing now next uh, there is there is another very important fundamental thing in the CRO. This is the what is the frequency range? It is written that sub support that is 50 megahertz. That means it's the maximum 50 megahertz is the bandwidth of the of, of, of this particular uh, CRO. That 50 megahertz can be measured. Maximum 50 megahertz can be measured. Suppose there is you show thousand megahertz. That means that is hundred megahertz something. So it can be possible to uh, it can be possible to uh, measure the hundred megahertz maximum. So these are all uh, all all component and all the point all the things are very very important in this particular uh, CRO concept in front of the this is basically the measuring equipment measuring equipment which can measure the voltage current also the frequency time domain. Uh, time span of all those things that can be measured by this. So, 
uh, go for a very important fundamental things. What is this? This is the uh, uh, this is the basic diode. This is the basic diode that uh, the valve diode, valve diode, diode valve. This is the diode valve. Okay, so you show there is a cathode and there is a anode and the electron is flow from the cathode to an anode if I increase the voltage in here if I increase the voltage in here then cathode to anode electron is flowing now what happened uh, if the electron is coming here from the cathode is uh, in the in the time that's 10 per second and if it is accepting that is 8 per second then what what will happen if it is 10 per second what is 8 per second then is charge is uh, is present in this particular vacuum charge is present in this particular vacuum and which is create a space charge which is create a phase charge which is create a space charge okay so to overcome this space charge one another uh, what we have done one another electrode grid electrode which we have introduced which is very positively voltage very small voltage but that can be accelerating that electron that can be accelerating that electron and it's come from this side to this side very easily okay so this is a actually the triode as there is cathode anode and grid grid control is there so there is three electrode electrode uh, that's why it is called three electrode that's why it is called uh, uh, that's why it is called triode triode that's why it is called triode okay Next, I'm just changing that. Uh, I'm just asking you one question. This triode, you have already showed this triode. Everybody, you have shown this triode in your house also. Uh, what is this actually? Basically, uh, you show there is a uh, there is electron is coming to this side and it's come to this side, and there is that is controlled by this by this grid by this grid, and basically. I am just change the constructions to show I am changing the construction and I am just make it connecting and just electrode is connecting in here and uh, just like that it is a conducting material conducting material is a phosphine is there and to show if you show it from here To show it from here this is the side view of your television side view of television picture tube side view of the television picture tube so this is the side view of your television picture tube so that's why I'm saying every day you can show this in your house that is the picture tube okay so uh, sorry. and uh, that's why you shape this is the very preliminary development of the picture tube and you show there is a basically a triode uh, basically the triode is there and the electron flowing here and just representing the representing the signal in here okay this is signal in here okay so this is actually the triode this is actually the triode it is okay and in case of this triode the electron flow from here to here and developing is representing the display in here display in here so this is the television i think you know about your televisions and inside of this television this is the picture to show 
this is the electronics go to this part and we can show the picture from here okay so uh, one very interesting things that uh, I want to deflect the picture I want to deflect one television picture I suppose some things is representing in the televisions I want to deflect the television picture how it can be possible it can be possible by this you just keep a magnet uh, of this particular television then what happened this type of pictures pictures become this type of things but it should be a uh, picture tube uh, containing uh, TV uh, you show wh what happened uh, as there is a electric as there is a, a electric pass because of this uh, because of this uh, 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 electron electron flow that's why there is one perpendicular magnetic field is creating there is one particular magnetic field is creating and if there is one magnet is coming here or here high value magnet is coming so it is affecting it is affecting this magnetic field it is affecting this magnetic field and when it is affecting the it deflecting the path the path is deflecting path is deflecting the electron flow path is deflecting when electron flow path is deflecting, the pictures is looks like that. So this is a very interesting uh, theme, but don't try it in your house, okay, and other house also. So John, then I go for the internal constructions of the cathode ray oscilloscope. This is the cathode specifically, and this is the electron gun where the electrons is uh, evaporated, okay and uh, some anode is there x plane anode y plane anode and that can be control this particular signal cathode ray signal and this is the fluorescent screen is there where the where the signal is in the the, the, the electron is poured and we can see the signal okay so this is our actually basic constructions you show there is a uh, fluorescent screen there is a there is a, the hot electrode hot uh, hot cathode is there why hot because as it is if it is how much hot then the electrons electrons is evaporated from there largely gradually so for that reason these things and these are the controlling unit and then after that it is go to here and through this and just creating the pictures uh, this is again same things but uh, I want to uh, mention some things that is electron gun uh, deflections plate and fluorescent screen there is uh, there is uh, x plane y plane changing that is accelerations anode that is focusing anode that is the cathode uh, cathode and these are all actually show this is working as a electron gun and deflection system uh, heating filament is also there heating filament is also there in this in these positions you show heating filament is also there which can be heat the uh, cathode uh, cathode of the cathode ray and this is a fluorescein skin and the electron bees is coming like that way okay so uh, this is the bright spot is there which is representing the display okay now uh, parts of the electron gun the filament that heat the cathode cathode the relates with the electron when heat by the filament grid the grid is con connected with the negative potential the more negative is for oh, negative this potential and more electrons uh, will be repelled uh, re from the grid and few electron will reach to the anode and screen anode uh, and the screen the number of the electron reaching to the uh, screen determines the brightness of the light yes Determ uh, determines the brightness of the light of the light hence the negative potential of the grid can be used as a brightness control negative potentials of hence the negative potential of the grid can be used as a bright uh, brightness control okay focusing anode the others 
other uh, features of this electron gun is uh, used for use for of the anode. The anode is positive potential accelerate the electrons and electrons are focused into the fine beam as they pass through the anode accelerating anodes okay next is the x plane and y plane which is very very important functions is that a y plane plate plates y plane uh, plates uh, will uh, y plates will causes the deflections of the vertical uh, vertical deflections of the voltage is applied across them and the x plane on the other hand the x plane parts will causes the electron beam deflections in the horizontal horizontal it, it is electron deflections is done by this so fluorescent screen the fluorescent is coated with the fluorescent salt and for example zinc uh, sulfate zinc sulfate and when the electron hits the screen uh, it will causes the salt to produce the flash light hence a bright spot on the screen is visible okay so these are the all the points there is uh, one block diagram representations among along with the along with the all the component you show there is a cathode grid crt x plane y plane okay particle positioning jet uh, horizontal positioning all are connected and you show that these are all connected with some amplifier the vertical amplifier which is vertical amplifier connections horizontal amplifier it's just connected with the horizontal things okay uh, then is the uh, then is the synchronous amplifier which is very very important it is very important for the amplifier vertical amplifier and horizontal amplifier synchronization for that reason the synchronous amplifier is very very important okay short of sweep generator which is actually required for the purpose of uh, purpose of uh, synchronizations uh, of the, of 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 of, uh, of uh, synchronizations of the system and the uh, blanking circuit is also very very important and ca uh, calibrations oscillator is also very very important so these are all the block diagram representations of the cathode ray oscilloscope and uh, by this way we just uh, go for the ending positions of this particular lectures in the next day we will so what we have searched what we can understand about the zero i'm just recapitulate this thing recap this thing this is our uh, this is our CRO and CRO all the components we have already discussed all the knobs this and this is this is these these knobs which we have already learned these are the things we have think to decide and these are the connectors we have already known about that this is the uh, this is the specifically uh, the uh, this is specifically the um, the valve diode valve and from the diode valve how the triode valve is developed and how the triode is working like that way and through that how we can generate uh, the, the picture tube the picture tube that things we have already know and this is the display and then this is the televisions inside of the televisions picture tube what will happen that things we have already know and if I am changing if I am uh, how we can deflect the magnetic field or electric field of these things that is also we have no this is uh, our representations of uh, of uh, of, uh, uh, of, uh, of inside of this uh, CRT and uh, this is a representations of again the inside of the CRT with the another mode of actions this is also the same things as you are representing but here some componental parts is representing much betterly and these are the electrons uh, these are i have already discussed all the parts uh, electron gun part and then the uh, deflection spread part and the fluorescent screen part we can understand and this is the overall block diagram of the cro that can be representing in here and that can be representing in here like that way so so thank you very much thank you very much all of you and i hope you can you are watching this and uh, uh, and uh, i hope that uh, all of you uh, in the next video we can understand about that how we can measure the voltage in the cro 
and how we can start a CRO in the develop condition, dead positions, uh, start a CRO from the first time, how we can insert the voltage, uh, how we can how you can measure the voltage from the voltage thing, that things also we will discuss for the next video. So that's all and I would like to acknowledge uh, several books, several internet source which we have already get and whatever the things I have taken that is marked as a hyperlink, all the pictures are taking hyperlink. So this is our reference. So thank you very much uh, from all of you to get the, uh, get the um, uh, material and uh, thank you, thank you all of you audience who can watch this particular video uh, for the CRO purpose. Thanks a lot.